bitch child abuse neglect something like endangerment something i don't know what the hell's going on in my little do 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 mind she needs some milk stay from perfect like everyone i know i just been drinking on the low mobbing on the low walking on the low smoking on the low i still been flying on the low what's happening it's your girl stay from perfect you like know by right now and if you don't know hi welcome to my channel join the messy fam because i promise y'all are gonna love it over here and for those of you who know what do you think don't you love it over here <laughs> anyways guys i'm back at you again with another video and i know that i said i was gonna do a story time on tuesday and if you haven't checked out tuesday's video go ahead and do that now so today i figured let's go ahead and give you a little bit more insight on my messy crazy hectic life okay i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all two crazy ass stories that happened to me and hopefully y'all can think they're as funny as everybody else that i've told the stories to so let's get into the shit mm -mm. Mm -mm. y'all know the drill for story time go ahead get your little juicy juice your little drinky drink a little snacky snack get cozy and um i'll be here when you get back yeah let me give you some time <laughs> you ready let's go <laughs> let me set the scene for y'all right so i was probably like three or four I was in the car with my mom and I forget where we were driving to, but I think we were probably like on the way home or like going to an event or something like that. I really couldn't even tell you. So it was my mom, me, and my mom's boyfriend at the time. And I'm pretty sure he was in the car, but I really don't remember who exactly was there. I just remember, bitch. Anyways, let's get back to the story. We're driving down 285 or maybe it was 85 going on 285. Or maybe 285 getting on 85 i don't know how the fuck the highway works but basically we were going and getting on the highway and getting onto a different highway from the highway we were on already and my mom is driving in her little toyota her little hyundai hyundai whatever the fuck that shit was called silver car and here i am in the back seat right sitting here do 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 mind my damn business and i see that there's a pair of jumper cables on the fucking floor so guess what i did I saw the jumper cables and I don't know what the hell's going on in my little do 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 mind at the time, but my brilliant self, I decided that I was gonna pick up those jumper cables and put those bitches on my tongue. Like a G6, like a G6, like a G6. Who can say that they got their tongue pierced before the age of 16, 15, shit, 13 for that matter? <laughs> Me. I can. And I pierced myself, bitch. <laughs> Not the one that I have now. But, you know, I just... That was wild. Back to the scenario. So we're in the car, and I put these damn jumper cables on my tongue. And my mom is, like, freaking the fuck out. And her boyfriend's over here just, like, stunned. Like, he doesn't even know what the fuck to do. And so they finally pull over <laughs> on the side of the highway. And they take off the jumper cables from my tongue. Here I am, bloody ass mouth, just bleeding all over my shirt, all in the car, all over, like, and she didn't even know what to do. I think we got some, like, popsicles or ice cream or something like that. And then I just, you know, waited for my tongue to heal, because what else was there to do? Like, you gonna go to the doctor? Bitch, that looks like child abuse, neglect, something, like, endangerment, something. But it wasn't, because I was just being too smart for myself you know <laughs> especially because we were in the car and she was driving like i don't even know y'all doop -doo -doo. let's go ahead and get into the second story because this one i don't know how i'm literally gonna graduate with my phd ooh, with my bachelor's degree and i did all this stupid ass shit as a kid like y'all <laughs> she needs some milk <laughs> so let me set the scenario for this second story okay two 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 everything great things come in pairs so boom we're in this little gray hyundai hyundai toyota whatever the hell car it was okay again we're in the same car 
this time we're driving from I think like Lawrenceville to where we used to stay in Morrow. Okay, that's that's a long ride. So what my mom used to do when I was little, she would just like give me some snacks in the car because either I would go to sleep or I would tell her directions all the way to the house. And like I was so smart, I knew how to get all the way from Swanee to Morrow. Directions, back street and highway. Yeah. Brilliant. I get car sick. I don't know why that's a thing, but like it's a thing. So this day she gives me some M&Ms and they're the peanut M&Ms because like who doesn't love peanuts if you're allergic? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so I was eating these damn M&Ms like they were good as shit. Like these M&Ms always fucking smack. But on this day, I don't know what was going on in my head, but I just thought about like, can I put that bitch in my nose? <laughs> y'all i kid you not i had so many fucking peanut m and shoved up my nose i had to have at least two in each nostril i had to because i cannot get those bitches out like they were so stuck up there like there was nothing i could do and it hurt so bad like i was literally crying in the back seat and my mom looked in the rear view mirror and she was like what the fuck is going on because i had like chocolate running down my nose and like all over my face and all over my shirt like but i mean it is what it is at least it was chocolate this time and not blood <laughs> probably waited until i got home honestly because she was like bitch why you do that like pfft, you better eat that shit probably waited until we got home to fix the situation and get the m ms out of my nose but i was definitely tore up from that and i will never put nothing up in my nose i will never try to pierce my fucking tongue again like with something that's not a piercing needle like y'all the way i traumatize myself is insane <laughs> i think that's about it for today's story times thank you for watching and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you want to be part of the messy gang i want to be part of the messy gang she want to be part of the messy gang he want to be part of the messy gang they want to be part of the messy gang y'all y'all Join the messy gang. <laughs> I promise you'll love it over here. It's always crazy over here. It's always messy over here. But it's an organized madness. Yeah. Yeah, I would I think you would agree. <laughs> but yeah. I love y'all. Stay safe. Stay aware of your surroundings. Be cautious and just know that I love y'all. Like Seriously, truly, deeply, from the bottom of my heart, I love y'all. And I'm so thankful that y'all support me and appreciate me because I appreciate and support and love all and every single each one of y'all just the same. So, yeah. Thank you again for watching and I will see you Tuesday because we get in late on the Tuesday. Girl in the Tuesday. Girl, okay oh yeah before i forget if you haven't already checked out my last video go ahead and do that all right i'll see you on tuesday i love you peace